Hey everyone, in this video we're going to address the issue you may have while importing some characters who have high heels into Unreal Engine 4. I'm in the default third person project in Unreal 4 here, and you'll notice that when I load up the default mannequin character, he has his feet flat on the ground. However, you may encounter an issue where when you import a character in high heels, your character's feet will be messed up during animation due to the difference in heel height. So let's go and export in two different versions of the same character from Character Creator to see how to fix this. First I'm going to use this character with high heels and go up and select Export to FBX. Make sure you have the Convert Bone Structure for UE4 Rig option selected and go from there. I'll save mine as Girl High Heels to differentiate from the other version. Next I'll load on some Worker Boots to the same character for comparison and do the same thing. This one I'll call Girl Boots. In Unreal, I'm going to create separate folders for each individual character's files just to keep things clean, and then I'll go ahead and drag in my Girl Boots FBX first. In FBX import options, make sure that you choose the UE4 mannequin skeleton and use T0 as reference pose, which means it's going to use frame 1 as your reference pose. Once it's finished importing, I'll double click the skeletal mesh to load it up. Let's select the macho looking third person walk to preview. You'll notice right away that my character's boots are pretty far off the ground, and if I go to the animation section and select the embed third person walk to preview, you'll see that as she walks, her boots will be going a bit further into the ground as a result. But you can easily offset that by going into show, then scene setup, and then adjusting the floor height offset for a more accurate value. You'll notice that if I enter in one, we'll get a more accurate result. We could fine tune it further, but for now let's just move on to the issue of the character in high heels. What I'll do now is go into the high heels folder that we've created earlier and import in my character the exact same way, using the same options. With the UE4 skeleton rig and using frame 0 as the reference pose. You'll see that when I double click the skeletal mesh to load it up and then rotate my camera to the side that the character's feet are again floating slightly but the real problem will come when you try to apply an animation to this new skeletal mesh with high heels. If you look at it from the side, you'll notice that the toes are curving up, almost like some weird clown shoe. This is because it's not aligned to the original Unreal Engine 4 flat heeled character. To fix this problem, you'll need to make all the bones and active sockets visible by selecting the eye icon under the skeleton tree, then going to Show All Retargeting Options. This option will display the whole list of translation retarget bones. So what we want to do now is select the right foot and then shift select every node all the way down to R underscore toe base share. Once those are all selected, right click on the highlighted area and choose recursively set translation retargeting animation relative from the menu. You'll see now that the foot will correct, although it still needs to be adjusted slightly for height. Let's do the same thing for the left foot first. Again, selecting all the nodes in the foot and selecting Recursively Set Translation Retargeting Animation Relative. From there, we'll go into Scene Setup again and adjust the Floor Height Offset to 1. And there you have it. The animation might look a little masculine for a female in high heels, but you gotta give her credit, she's pulling it off quite well without even the slightest imbalance. So that's about all there is to it, folks. Now you can bring in all the weird high-heeled macho characters you want without a catch.